the mass appeal If one found it difficult to maintain one's loyalty to one's own convictions at the start, a succession of betrayals, which helped to augment the power of the evil one lacked the courage to fight, will not make it easier at a later date, but will make it virtually impossible. There can be no compromise on moral principles. Quote, In any compromise between food and poison, it is only death that can win. In any compromise between good and evil, it is only evil that can profit. Close quotes. Atlas shrugged. The next time you are tempted to ask, doesn't life require compromise? Translate that question into its actual meaning. Doesn't life require the surrender of that which is true and good to that which is false and evil? The answer is that that, precisely, is what life forbids, if one wishes to achieve anything but a stretch of tortured years spent in progressive self-destruction. Hi, I'm Angel, and I just wanted to invite you out to Nexus. We have just finished our last session on moral compromise, and we're really looking forward to you joining us next month, August 2nd, for our next session. We're going to be talking about social media and its impact on our culture. And we're going to touch on topics that include... MySpace, which is exempt, but I used to really get down with MySpace. Facebook, we're going to mess with Twitter, those who like to tweet. We're even going to mess with stuff like ChristianMingle.com. Trying to meet somebody Christian, you can put up your profile and think the Lord is going to bring you guys together. That's alright, I'm not hating, but we will deal with it. E e harmony, Equally Yoked, all these different efforts of social media to try to recreate how our culture is defined. So definitely be out here August 2nd. And be a part of this. Social media affects me. Social media affects you. Let's hear about it. Join us for some intelligent conversation. We're looking forward to seeing you there. See you. There has never been a bigger force for change than technology. It changes absolutely everything about the way we live. The way we get around. The way we eat. Even the way we talk to each other. With the rise of social media, the idea of community has changed radically. It's no longer just about the people around you. It's anyone, anywhere on the planet, that has a shared interest. We're a big house brown, we 